<laughs> now, in some weird local news this week, and now, uh, uh, Josh... Don't Josh you Josh. call it weird local news, you <laughs> okay. absolute bigot. <laughs> well, last week, Josh... <laughs> last week, Josh featured in... I would never make a joke about Australia. <laughs> 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 last week, Josh featured in the Mid-Devon Advertiser. This week, he, you found some quite progressive news coming out of the West Country. So, when I was growing up, yep. and I... I'd hate you to think that Devon was any different from London or, or you know, yep. well, wherever it is you're from. Um, but, um, <laughs> uh, when I was growing up, yep. uh, prime time on ITV every day, there was a show called Gus Honeybun's Magic Birthdays in which a puppet rabbit would uh, bounce up and down uh, the number of years of the children in the area's birthdays. Right. <laughs> so it came out this week that, uh, <laughs> allegedly, Ian Sterling was using Gus Honeybun's Magic Birthdays yep. to give coded messages to the LGBT community about where underground parties were happening. Wow. Right. Isn't that amazing? Well, it's like a public service. Yeah, so he's using the code... Yeah. Auntie Sandra, I think was the code I've written it down. Yeah. I heard 58. And, yeah. I heard it was 58. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so he'd be passing messages via Gus Honeybun to the LGBT community in Devon in the 1980s. That is an amazing thing. Wow. So it'd be stuff like I've written one down here. Uh, Jane is eight and she's having a party at midnight in a disused warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> She'd like to say, invite friends and bring Charlie and Mandy. That kind of thing. <laughs> the question is, what kind of Charlie are they asking you to bring? <laughs> uh, Judy, how dare you? <laughs> well, now, it turns out, Gus Honeybun wasn't the only children's star who was giving coded messages. We can cross now to another one. Uh, Basil Brush, <laughs> welcome to the show. Ah, hello, Mr Adam, thank you very much. I'm nearly sorted. Blimey, Josh looks big. Uh, oh, no, I'm too close to the camera. Hang on a second. <laughs> Just get myself on my seat, executive seat. Hang on. Oh, I'm too low. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'll get it right. Hang on. Here we get... What are you? That's it, I'm sorted. <laughs> I'm all yours, Mr Adam. What can I do you for? Is it true you were giving coded messages on, your, on the Basil Brush show? Oh, absolutely. We all did it in the 70s, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whenever I spoke, I used my tail to spell out coded messages, like in semaphore. Really? <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, for something subtle, I would possibly do a little flutter, like that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and if I really wanted to get somebody's attention, yeah. uh, you know, like writing capitals in an email to shout, I would, I would do something like that, a little bit more vigorous, and, and normally put me back out, so I don't do that anymore. <laughs> and, and who were the messages for? Uh, well, any foxes at home who might be watching, mm -hmm. I used to tell them where the fox hunts were, where they were going to be each week, <laughs> and in particular, I'd direct them to a safe place to sit it up, like a safe haven type thing. That is very <coughs> public-spirited of you. Not really. You see, what they didn't know is I was actually sending them right into the paths of the hounds. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is, that is appalling, Basil. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't want the competition. There's only room for one fox on the box in this country. <laughs> what I had to do. That is, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely horrified, Basil. I know. I'm only joking. I used to direct them to the bins at the back of Buckingham Palace for a spot of leftover coronation chicken. <laughs> yeah, 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 boom, boom. <laughs> but don't pretend you haven't done it, Mr Adam. You've kept Jack Carroll at bay for years. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. They'll have to praise that Paralympic gig out your cool dead end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's, that's enough. Would you please thank Basil Brush? Uh, no, no, hang on. Before I go, Mr Adam, yes. can I just talk about my new show on BBC? Yes, of course you can. I'd like a new show on BBC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Basil Brush, always a, always a pleasure. Thank you. Now, listen, before I go, a new segue into the next bit. Yeah. I'm off to my kitchen on my new Segway that I got from eBay. You watch this. Yeah, okay. Lockdown laziness. 